for some chest pain, shortness of breath. Do you mind if we go over this checklist before um, we finish giving a report? I guess. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm gonna be your um, new nurse. Let's go over your arm band. Um, she has one IV. No, we don't have any cables or to the monitor. Do you know what I'm uh, I had a patient that went to MRI. Um, we Sorry. Have suction, but there are no ambu bags. You know if you use one. No, I you know I forgot to check. I don't know. I'll get one though. And it looks like you only have one suction canister. Do you know if you use that too? And here, I must have forgotten to look when I when I got here. Okay, we're talking. I'm gonna go ahead and change the board. It looks like it hadn't been changed in a few days. I see there's a lot of stuff laying out. Are there any sharks on that table? Well, thank you for calling about the leads. I just put her side rugs up, and then now we got an ambu bag. Do you mind going to the next few patients and doing bedside report and doing this check off? Hello. Hey, this is Danielle. She's going to be your nurse. Okay. Right. I'm going to give Danielle a report. That means we're going to go over everything that happened with you overnight. Is that okay with you? Well, Ms. Kelsey, can you tell us your name and date of birth? Is it okay if we share information with your family member here? Well, I guess so. Ms. Kelsey came in last night complaining of abdominal pain. It's all over. The abuse of abdominal pain. I gave her some Allotted. And so the plan is she's going to go to GI lab um, and she's going to have an upper and lower GI study and then we'll see what that shows. She is a high fall risk. She's NPO because she's going for that procedure. Do you have any questions about your plan of care today? No ma'am. Looks like your IV side's working pretty well. Are you having any pain right now? Maybe a three. Okay. So it looks like we have all of our leads. Everything's here. We have our suction. Like it's working well. Um, looks like we have our in the bag. So it looks like my cart's all stocked up, and it looks like the room is nice and tidy. I don't see lots of trash hanging out. It's really nice to meet you. We're gonna go check up on our other patients. I'm gonna make sure that you have the call light with you. Okay. Do you have anything to add, or did we miss anything? No, you did great. Thank you. Do you need anything right now before we step out of the room? No, thank you, though. If you need me, you go ahead and press that red, big red button on the call light. Okay? Okay. Hi, thanks for coming to my office this afternoon. I'm not exactly sure about the tour guide that you got, but I appreciate you making the trek. It is a long way over, but please know that I have an open door policy. Communication is one of the most important things that we do in emergency medicine. I just really want to thank you and I appreciate the work and the care that you deliver every day. You meet people in some of the worst moments of their life. They don't choose to be here. They are here and thank you for being, bringing the best of yourself to work every day. As you know, we've had a renewed focus on bedside shift report as well as hourly rounding. We have spent the last few weeks really focusing on that. We know from an emergency medicine perspective that this is best practice. When you think about the way in which we manage trauma patients, we there is no doubt we are the best in the state. And the reason we are best in the state is because we are consistent and we do it the same way every time. If we can take, take that same emphasis and that same level of rigid structured communication and overlay that to our bedside shift report and our hourly rounding, it will really help enhance communication with our patients. We know that from a staffing standpoint, communication is the most important thing that we can provide to you. We need to provide the same level of communication with our patients. What we know from emergency medicine standpoint is emergency medicine has changed so dramatically 
over the last several years. It's not what you see on television. The patients and the environments in which we are taking care of these patients can often be challenging. And I want you to know how much I sincerely appreciate the fact that you stand in the gap and you meet these patients and you take care of them in these austere conditions. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the work that you each do every day in choosing to be a part of this team.